everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial from the Age of Darkness. Yes, we are painting another Mark VI Marine. We are painting an Imperial Fist. And, well, I'm very excited to do this because we are going to be using the new Contrast paints as sent to me early by Games Workshop. So a massive thank you to them, and I hope you enjoy this. We've got some cracking new Contrast paints to use specifically for this. And it just so happens that the first one we're going to be using is called Imperial Fist. So, he's been primed in grace here because we want that slightly colder look than we would get over white or say Wraithbone, which is what we've typically done our Imperial Fists on before, because these are from the Age of Darkness. They're older and they're colder. <laughs> and they're a little bit bolder. Anyway, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna start painting. So we're gonna load up our brush with Imperial Fist and we're gonna start painting this all over his armor. Now, Imperial Fist is pretty much a single color contrast paint. So you actually don't have to worry too much about kind of any dark orange spots like you would with something like Ian and Yellow. You can just basically load your brush up and absolutely go to town. Now you do want to be a little bit careful, you don't want to use too much because it will dry weirdly. You'll get some kind of like lumpy spots almost, which is not good. We don't want that. What we do want is a nice even coat of this yellow all over like this but as you can already tell we get this beautiful yellow without having to worry too much whilst applying it So with that Imperial Fist applied, as you can see, we've got this gorgeous flat yellow all over our miniature. He looks amazing, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shade him. And the color we're gonna be using to do this is Cassandora Yellow, the new reformulated shade from Games Workshop. So we're just gonna be getting this all over again. All of our Marine's armor. Now here we do just wanna take it a little bit steady because New shades act like contrast paints. So we just want to get these nice big broad brush strokes. Don't want to use too much at once, but if you do, just move that shade around until you're happy with it. But as you can see, what it does over Imperial Fist, is it just adds that little bit of extra warmth in there. It really punches up all of those recesses just like we want without having an overload of orange. Which is, you know, ideal. So with that done, you should now have this gorgeous, warm, shaded yellow. Just looks fantastic, <laughs> even if I do say so myself. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on. We're gonna take some Black Legion now. I'm gonna use this to paint in all of the black details. So we've got areas such as the soft joints in his armor, this kind of piping system up here on the backpack. We've got the bolt gun. For example, all of it. So that black legion applied to all of those details like this. What we're now going to do is we're going to take some Garagak sewer <laughs> and we're going to apply this over the top of the leather. So it's going to be on this guy's case, his little holster for his bolt pistol. So 
So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to colour in all of our metallics. And the colour we're going to be using for this is Iron Warriors. Don't hate me. <laughs> the dark metal absolutely juxtaposes the brightness of the yellow, which is lovely. Lovely to see. And with that done, we're then going to take some Balthazar gold and apply this to the little trinket. Just down there, like that. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to shade all of the metallics using some of the new reformulated Null Oil. And so with that null oil applied to all of those metallics, what we're going to do now is just going to very quickly take some Baal Red. I'm going to very carefully apply this over the top of his eye lenses. So with that done, our Imperial Fist is now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. However, we are going to take him one step further. We're going to take him to parade ready, War Hipster parade ready, whatever that is. <laughs> and the way we're going to do this, we're going to do this by adding some highlights. And the first one we're going to add is Flash Gets Yellow. We're using this to highlight all of our yellow armor by just picking out all of the edges All the way around. Just like this. So with that flash kit's yellow all applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Screaming Skull. And we're gonna add this to the sharpest points around the model. So for example, just there on the corner of the shoulder pad on these rivets. Just add a couple of interesting little light points here and there. So with all that armor finished, what we're now going to do is highlight all the black details using some thinned down Dawnstone. Just once again, picking out all of those edges.
just like this. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thin down iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our silver details. So with all of those metallics now highlighted, we've just got one last area to do, and that is going to be the eye lenses. The color we're going to be using first for this is Fire Dragon Bright. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of a highlight going around the bottom edge. Just like that. And so with that done, just to finish it off, we want to take a tiny dot of Corax white. And we want to add this in the far corners of each of the lenses. There. And there. Just like that. And so here we have it then, the finished Imperial Fist and what an absolutely fantastic experience this was to paint. Don't get me wrong, I love Eand and Yellow and we've done plenty of Imperial Fists on the channel before, but this yellow recipe right here, just so quick and easy and very much more forgiving than Eand and Yellow. I'm absolutely blown away by the strength of these new paints, especially on this yellow. It just looks really really fun well it was really really fun and it looks really really awesome what more can you ask for huh if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster alternatively you can now become a youtube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here exactly like these awesome folks have done and if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video you can click on the thanks button just below this video don't forget to share it like it comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon in the next one Happy Wargaming.